Elephants have been around for a really long time, peacefully living in Africa and Asia. They've played a big role in shaping ecosystems and providing for many different animals, including early humans, for generations. There are two kinds of elephants today that have been part of this dynasty for about 30 million years. They still live in parts of the forests and savannas where their ancestors roamed. In the past, large herds of elephants used to move around, following the rains and making the land smell nice. But now the changing seasons are causing challenges for both humans and elephants as they compete for limited resources. There were thoughtful mammoths, strong mastodons, stylish horses, and camels that all came from tiny tapers with claws about 55 million years ago. These little creatures were busy in forests with redwood and ginkgo trees, reaching for tasty leaves that others couldn't get to on the ground. What made them special was their ability to digest food in a way that gave them an advantage over other plant-eating animals. From these simple forests, big elephants and their relatives emerged and thrived for a really, really long time until people started making decisions without thinking about the past. Fossils discovered in different parts of the world, like Europe and North America, show that early elephants did well in different environments affected by significant climate changes. This success influenced the traits we observe in today's smaller elephant groups, intricate family setups guided by wise female leaders, advanced communication reflecting subtle relationships, remarkable memories, and great strength balanced by the benefits of wisdom. The most crucial trait is their lifelong dedication to caring for their communities. When it was really cold, the Ice Age helped tropical Asian elephants more than their older straight-tusked relatives, who liked the freezing mammoth areas. Many years passed, and the Ice Age ended, burying the massive tusks and lessons of these elephants in mud up north. This saves memories of times when mammoth herds were common, like sparrows in forests we might not recognize today. Think about how short a human life is, stuck between big ice ages that shaped canyons and raised mountains, where countless elephants lived during seasons they respected before us. Today there are only two kinds of elephants left, and they've been around for an incredibly long time, like 30 million years. They've learned a lot to survive all kinds of challenges, from floods changing the land to many other tough situations. Imagine all the wisdom these elephants have passed down through many generations, and the deep culture that still guides them despite facing many losses. Indigenous peoples also lived sustainably for a long time, around 15,000 years, until newcomers from Europe brought changes that hurt both their wisdom and elephant families. By 1800, even elephants faced problems from new weapons that anyone could use. People are building things like fences and farms that make it hard for elephants to go where they usually do. It's not easy for them because these paths have been part of their lives for much longer than our own cities. There are even bullets flying around, making it dangerous for elephants who are hungry and looking for food. A long time ago, those wide open spaces had lots of animals like buffalo, camels, horses, and rhinoceros, but now there are so many people, and it's causing problems for these animals. We're in a time where many species are disappearing, almost like what happened when a huge rock hit the earth and ended the time of dinosaurs. The earth is still here, but we need to think about how to help elephants, tigers, whales, and other animals as we keep building more cities. So why should we think more deeply about protecting wildlife, not just for practical reasons or because it's good for business, but because it's the right thing to do? Right now, we're using up a lot of Earth's resources, and it's causing problems. We need to go beyond just thinking about money and really consider what's best for the planet. It's not just about numbers, it's about making choices that keep the Earth healthy for a long time. This means we need to change the way we think and make decisions that are good for the planet and all the creatures that call it home. Throughout history, we've seen that when communities face tough times, they often make choices that harm both their local economy and the environment. 
This happens when people refuse to find middle ground solutions in difficult situations, often caused by short-sighted planning. Ignoring the long-term effects can lead to serious problems that are even worse than what leaders predicted. Examples include Easter Islanders cutting down all their forests, Norse Greenlanders not adapting when the climate changed, and politicians ignoring serious climate issues. This pattern of ignoring problems and denying responsibility has happened over many centuries and is a constant challenge for societies. The real danger comes from being overly confident in ignoring problems, not from unpredictable disasters. The loss we face is the wisdom we deliberately discard without trying to get it back. Some leaders and communities are showing a different way forward, inspired by the compassionate examples seen in conscious elephants. Instead of imposing dominance and tearing down societies like in our warring history, these leaders are embracing regenerative paths cooperative societies, as demonstrated by elephants, often prove more resilient in the face of escalating crises, testing both mortality and moral character. The strength of collective character is most crucial when uncertainties are at their peak. African savannas and Asian rainforests remain hubs of biodiversity, containing more diverse life forms than any other places on Earth. Preserving this rich heritage, shaped over millions of years, is both an ethical and economically sensible endeavor. Efforts to protect and restore habitats for elephants, tigers, gorillas, and other species contribute to a balanced and shared future where agriculture and nature coexist harmoniously through permaculture. Scientific evidence supports the idea that predators, such as elephants, play a crucial role in maintaining community health and abundance. Elephants, in particular, act as guardians for numerous other species. The conservation of elephants and whales is, in essence, a safeguard against the short-sightedness of exploiting nature solely for immediate gains. It's a lesson from history that echoes through time, gaining the world at the expense of timeless souls leads to empty victories. In the face of shifting sands and our own paths of transition, there are no utopias, only the constant choice between progress and regression. The path of generational justice, guided by wisdom as exemplified by elephants, stands as the true redemption amidst distractions and delays. Therefore, global efforts to counter the intensity of extinction must go beyond mere sustainability and embrace operational regeneration, focusing on green finance to ensure the security of wildlife and climate resilience alike. Urgent defense funding is needed for existing parks and the creation of mega-preserves, such as the Kavango Zambezi Transfrontier Conservation Area that spans five countries. It's crucial for safeguarding watersheds that support a myriad of species, including elephants, lions, and diverse bird species. This interconnected web of life, a testament to Earth's poetic history, ultimately contributes to human health and happiness, reflecting true prosperity metrics that extend beyond abstract currency indexes. The current profit-driven mindset, often masquerading as valid economics, threatens the richness of our planet's ecosystems and undermines the well-being of real populations worldwide. The need for change is urgent, and reality offers hope through innovative optimism and practical redemption fueled by compassionate human ingenuity. Wisdom, embodied in the timeless eyes of elephants and the confident stride of tigers, beckons us to walk beyond the present darkness and reclaim a perspective that values the brilliance of millions of years over fleeting gains. There are paths forward, illuminated by care and vision, awaiting our collective decision, with elephants standing peacefully, ready to accompany us. As we wrap up this short history of elephants, we want to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing the first time you saw an elephant or any fascinating wildlife moment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity. Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.